What do you think are the main barriers for people to experience web-free services? One of the main ones is just time. This is a very fresh new technology. Just like internet in 1994, time before the graphical browser. People browse through text. The user experience was super bad. You needed to have a PhD in whatever, computer science, in order to interact with the internet. But little by little, built by the people who are actually believing and seeing the opportunities, it kind of got built. So I think that's the strongest barrier. That doesn't mean we shouldn't do anything. It means that we need to actively continue building in that direction. There's no reason for being defeatist. Technical barriers, user experience is not there yet compared to Web2 product. You need to have the wallet, you need to go through many things, and there's obviously a lot of fundamental reasons to that. And then one part of it is the infrastructure. So that is why at Octopus Network, we try to provide the solution. We give shared security, and then we encourage applications to build their own app chains so that they can customize everything to the extent that that would allow projects to drastically improve your user experience. I think the changes have to happen from the infrastructure, from the foundation level, and users could have a better user experience. And obviously, there's also the change of concept, education. There's a lot of work to be done. I would say just onboarding itself. Me, myself, coming in two years ago, I was so confused. Like, what is the wallet? What is seed phrase? Oh, I have to put my money here and send it here, 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 and buy this crypto and whatnot. Obviously, that's two years ago, and onboarding has gotten better but I think that just converting a user is so hard so a lot of successful platforms you'll notice their onboarding is very seamless easier to convert people knowledge first and foremost a lot of people are unfortunately haven't had the chance to really learn how to use web3 what the benefits are and what makes this such a fantastic tool and what makes this a future so education is important and in addition to that things becoming so seamless and user-friendly where it feels the same as web2 and you can utilize all all these websites and marketplaces and opportunities making it easy. We need to build applications, relieve that concern from users and show them a benefit of here's a great user experience or an excellent utility of some application. In the best case, people don't even need to know that there's a blockchain or Web3 technology behind it. They're focused more on the user experience that they get and the utility. The separation because the majority of the people in Colombia don't have the opportunity to be close technology. Maybe they have a phone, but all the thing is building in with the laptop or the computer. But for me, it's very important to facilitate the people onboarding and that they have some tools and maybe reduce this separation, the technology of the people.